Hashflare is a cloud mining service that offers multiple different coins that you can mine. Today we're going to look at which is the most profitable coin that you can mine on Hashflare. Hey guys, I'm Ryan from tryingcrypto.com, making crypto easy. And in this episode, we're going to look at real life examples because I put my own money into Hashflare. We're going to see what is more profitable. Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Zcash. So they're the three that I am able to purchase. So we're going to compare those and see which is going to be more profitable. Okay, so let's go ahead and have an analysis of Bitcoin to start with, because that's obviously the big one. I went ahead and I purchased $220, which got me one Terra hash. Now, as I'm recording this, it has plummeted 20% today. It is extremely low compared to its all-time high of over 20,000. Prices are gonna fluctuate over time. So this profitability test that I'm doing today will work today, but obviously, let's say Zcash doubles in value, but Bitcoin and Ethereum don't, then obviously that's gonna change our profitability calculations, as well as if the difficulty in terms of mining and thus the payouts change, then that's gonna affect our profits as well. So for you to discover for yourself and right now what's gonna work, you're gonna to have to go through this process yourself, but this will give you a snapshot of one point in time of how that's going. We're gonna go into our history and we're gonna look at our Bitcoin mining transactions and how much we're earning. I just wanted to look at the payouts that they were giving me before I started reinvesting money. We can see my first payout was 0.00013231 and then they charge you a fee for Bitcoin mining. Now that's gonna be important because they don't charge a fee for Ethereum or Zcash mining. The second day we earned a bit more and then got charged a fee for that. And you can see I then went ahead and reinvested. All right, so let's pretend we didn't reinvest and let's put this amount of money minus that. That's this figure right here. We're gonna extrapolate that over the course of a year times by 365, which is how long your contract lasts with Hashflare. Over the course of a year, assuming that every day I would earn the same amount. Now, some days you're gonna earn more, some days you're gonna earn less. That's just the way it works. We would end up with 0.039 Bitcoin, which is $432.59. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that $432.59 and we're gonna divide it by the amount of money we invested, which is $220. If we go ahead and minus one, and then we times by 100, that's gonna give us our growth percent. So in terms of Bitcoin, for every dollar we invest, we're making a 96.63% return on that. Now, obviously, if Bitcoin goes up um, back to where it was at 20,000, then that figure is going to be hugely different. But if it goes up, then, you know, probably Ethereum and Zcash will go up as well. Um, but as I said, this is just a snapshot. Now, let's do it with Ethereum. I invested 50 mega hashes into Ethereum, which cost me $1,100. Let's go ahead and look at our history for Ethereum. We can see the ET hash payout here. There's actually no fees associated with this, which is pretty cool. So we can see the first payout here. Second payout was a bit smaller. But as with Bitcoin, we're gonna go with the first payout times by 365, and we're gonna end with 1.8684 Ethereum. Okay, we can see in US dollars, that will be 1,880.57. And we're gonna put that amount in, divided by 1,100, which is what we spent, minus one, times by 100. So we can see that the return on my money for Ethereum is 70.96%. So at the moment, even with the fees, Bitcoin is looking like the better investment, but obviously it has that higher withdrawal amount. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the last one, which is Zcash. I have invested into 120 hashes, which cost me $240. Let's have a workout of how much Zcash we're gonna earn over the course of the year. Equihash payout 0.0022. Let's times that by 365. It's gonna give us 0.811, 381.58 US dollars. Divided by $240, which is what we invested. We're then gonna minus one times by 100 to give us our percent. And so that is gonna be 
99.99%. All right, so what is the most profitable coin to mine using Hashflare? Well, doing the analysis at the current market rates at the current difficulty based off that first day of mining, um, Bitcoin going to return me 96.63%. In Ethereum, a 70.96% return. And then Zcash is giving us a 58.99% return. Now, as I mentioned already, if Bitcoin goes up or Ethereum goes up or Zcash goes up or they go up or down and fluctuate, then these could drastically change. Like if Bitcoin was sitting at $20,000 at the all time high, then my return on investment is gonna be way bigger than it is at the moment because Bitcoin has had that huge drop. Same with Ethereum, same with Zcash. If it is to go back up in price up to near where it's all time high was or even higher than that, then my return on investment is going to be even bigger than the US dollars that I originally put into the mining service. When it comes to which coins the most profitable, at the moment it's looking like Bitcoin being the most profitable, even though they charge you maintenance fees, followed by Ethereum and followed by Zcash. If you're interested in mining for Bitcoin using the Hashflare mining service, please check out my link in the description down below. That's my affiliate link. So if you go through that, it won't cost you any extra money, but I do get a small commission for you going through my link. So if you go through that, massive, massive thank you. That really helps support the channel. Obviously no pressure though, you don't have to go through it if you don't want to. If you like this video, then go ahead and check out this video on the minimum withdrawal amounts from Hashflare. That's gonna be really important to watch, especially if you're only investing a little bit of money. And go ahead and check out this video about the problems with Hashflare. So just make yourself aware of those problems and the risks that you're taking, because obviously there's risks associated with this sort of stuff. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, best of luck out there.